Here we have a 4090 video card that came in for repair. We already disassembled the board. It looks something like this. Uh, let me show you what's going on. You probably already know what's going on with this card because we work on 4090s every day. Not a single day goes by without us working on a 4090 melted connector. So you still get video cards with melted connectors, of course, every single day. Whether it's from cable mod or customers all over the world or locals, we get in video cards every single day for melted connectors. A lot of people up to this very same day, they ask me, what do you think about cable mod? And if I change the way I look at cable mod, the way I see things now is cable mod built over the wrong foundation. They created a great product, but that product failed because they built on the wrong foundation. If you built a house on a weak foundation, I do not care what materials you use to build a house, that house will collapse because the foundation is weak. And that's what happened to cable mod. I mean, I have a box here filled with 12 VHPWR connectors that we did the past month. I would say about uh, maybe 200 pieces. Some of them are cable mod and some of them are not. Look, that's cable mod, the adapter here. That's cable mod. That's not cable mod. This one is not cable mod. And the list goes on and on. I just think that cable mod got caught in the crossfire. They built on the wrong foundation and they got hit. What can you do? So if you look here, that connector is deformed. That connector is burned down to the bones. I've done this repair six million times on the channel, but let's do it six million and one time on this channel. And maybe in the future we'll make it six million and two, six million and three. Because I like to keep increasing the count. That's what I have on my bench right now. And that's what we're going to be recording today. We're going to preheat the board. That's the first thing I do. And today we're going to be testing out a new soldering station and hot tweezers station. I told you in the past, I'm testing a lot of stations so we can carry and sell the best one out there. We always do our modifications to whatever we sell, if we have to. So we can make it as perfect as possible. If we sell it, it means we approve it, or it means I use it. Ah, oh, that smell. I'm preheating the board from the top, but that smell. I do not want to put the mask right now because I'm talking. Right now, the station I'm testing, I have 28 tips for that station, for that soldering station, 28 tips. I'm testing every single tip, look at this. And I have more. I mean, piles and piles, every size, every shape conical, bent, knife, beveled, and hot tweezers. Look at how many hot tweezers tip or tips I'm trying out. Okay, and once I'm done with the testing, once I approve everything, then we're going to carry and sell that station. I'm working with this station every single day. So I can tell if there are any flaws with the station or if there's something that we need to improve. And factories are working with us. They're really working with us and they're listening. If I tell that specific factory, I do not like that feature or if you can change it or if you can improve it, they listen. Because we give them a lot of business. We get emails every single day from factories if we want to work with them. 
what item we want, what customizations we want. And that's awesome. We sell a lot, we do a lot of business, and it's a win-win for everyone. If they listen to us, they create what we want, then we will be able to sell more of their products. Sometimes we take an already working product and we improve it. Or we brand it, or whatever the case may be. Now today we're going to be using a new tip, a new chisel tip. I do not know if this tip is big enough or not, but I have bigger. I have bigger. Let's try this one. If I feel like that tip is not big enough, then we can switch it to something bigger because I do have bigger. I have a lot bigger. I have three times bigger. And I have smaller also. I think I spoke too much and the board went cold again. This board is about 14 layers. It dissipates heat like crazy. So even if it's burning hot, I leave it for two seconds. It goes that cold again. Preheat, then we're going to apply flux, then we're going to apply low melt solder. We're going to test that new tip if it's big enough for this job. And we're going to put a river of original Inventec Amtec flux. We are a major distributor of that flux. Whatever you need, just log into our site, northridgefix.com, click on shop, add to cart, whatever you want, whatever you need. This amazing microscope, soldering stations, out there stations, braid wick, low melt solder, tweezers. All items are in stock unless the item is not in stock. Add to cart, check out pay, and we almost always ship out same day. Let me see. Is this tip enough? Big enough? And I think it looks good. Look at how solder or flux is bubbling. So what I want to do is soak those joints with low melt solder. The tip is doing great. I mean, I'm sure if I went for a bigger tip, I would get more heat transfer because the bigger the tip, the more the heat transfer. If you have a small tip, I do not care what the temperature is on your soldering station. Even if you go 20,000 degrees on a small tip, it's not going to generate enough heat. Like if you poke yourself with a hot needle, just slightly, you're not going to feel it because that needle, the surface area on that needle is small. But if you poke yourself with a big piece of metal, even for a split second, you're going to feel that heat. Just grab Lomel from here and put it here. We got all the pins soaked with low melt solder except for this lonely pin right down on the bottom. And now what we can do is we can apply hot air once again. I grab the connector from the bottom like this and I pull down. And look at this. The connector is coming off. And the connector is out. Now I'm going to keep heat on the board. And I'm going to get the NF dot sucker. For all the suckers out there. And since I cannot put the NF dot sucker under the microscope. I'm going to do it on camera.
Now look at this. The magic of NF.soccer. Engage, click. Engage, click. Engage, click. Solder does not get stuck inside. Engage, click. Engage, click. It never jams. Where does solder go? Solder goes inside. And when you engage, it's going to push solder back out. I have them on my bench here. Goes in. Suck the solder out. Push. It's going to push the solder back out. If you have to clean it at any point in time, just unscrew, clean it, and screw it back. Easy. The magic of NF.Sucker. Very nice. But without low melt solder, all this would not be possible. Right now, I want to grab a connector and you can purchase those connectors from our site. We have the Asus version and we have the regular version that we're going to be using here. Because as you know, Asus is different. Asus, what they do is the four pins that you see down on the bottom, they flip them so they are up on top. That's Asus. Right, the connector is in. We're going to flip the board and we're going to make sure all the pins are inside the holes. And right now I'm grabbing that connector from the bottom and that's why the board is wobbling up and down. My finger is on that connector on the bottom. Once I secure that connector by a pin or two, then I can let go. Awesome. Awesome. Now I can let go. I'll put the board on the bench. Let me grab a bigger tip. So this one here is way too big. Way too big. Let me put it on the side. I would love to try that tip, but let me see what other options I have. So many different tips. So many tips. What about this one? I think this one is perfect. Let's try it. And we're going to use our anti-glare light so we can get rid of the reflections. And let's continue soldering. Right, nice. Wow, look at those joints. Look at the way solder flows on that tip. I love it. And we're done, just making sure that we do not have any flux left on the board. Nothing bad will happen if flux was left on the board, but I like the board to be as clean as possible. Right? I need to clean this area as well. We are done. I'm going to hand this over to Big Buzz to reassemble and test. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.